Hi, my name is Quincy, and yesterday was literally the worst day of my entire life. And um, I'm grateful to God and the Echo Hotel team that, you know, came forth. Now, I want to address the issue that I posted earlier on my page. On the 15th of December, I traveled down to Abuja for a business meeting. My manager picked me from the airport regarding my um, new single project. Regarding my new music project, and I got checked into Transcorp Hilton, which I made a reservation before I go to Abuja. This is the receipt of my payment for my room. I'm going to screenshot it and show you guys. So you see, I paid for the room and I was supposed to be there for just one night. I paid for one night. So I made a snap when I was in Transcorp in my room in Abuja. And this particular guy in question, which is my snap farm, messaged me and asked me out for dinner. A couple of times when I make videos on my Snapchat, he always messages me, where are you? I want to see you. And I'm always turning him down. But then I feel like I'm in Transcorp. He said he was in Transcorp and he wanted to buy me dinner. So I felt like he was going to be rude. He was going to be rude if I turned him down. But little did I know, little did I know that this is going to happen. He took advantage of me. Because even when we're trying to have dinner, he kept touching me. He kept on trying to touch me in an absurd way. And I kept telling him I wasn't comfortable with it. He kept on giving me champagne, one glass after the other. After a while, I got pressed and I went to the bathroom. I came back and had some drink. But it, it, it normally doesn't happen. But I swear, I was feeling very, very, very tipsy. I don't know. And I even told him. He now decided to help me to my room. In my own room. My room was even my room he came to. So when we got to the room, he actually forced himself on, on me. I felt him on me, but I couldn't push him away. I was I was really fucked up. I was I was so fucked up. And then he left. I slept off. I woke up in the morning. That was when he came to my head that something actually happened wrong. And I called him. I kept calling him. I kept on calling. I kept on begging him. I wanted to have a conversation with him. I just wanted to talk to him. I wanted to know why he was so inhuman. I wanted to know why he did it to me. But he kept declining my call. Only for him to send me a video of my body that he made. That he made. Guys, look at it. He didn't just violate me. He also made a video of me. Of my body. And he threatened me with it. The reason why I, I attempted suicide is because I feel violated. I don't even feel like a woman anymore. I feel less of myself. I don't feel good. I don't feel good. I feel like I've lost it all. I don't just feel good. <laughs>